Oh, just on my way to do some more shopping. I like how I can twirl this like it's the girl's hair. But I'm bringing this back into style, the raccoon pelt hat. I think this is a fashion statement that's really not getting the appreciation it deserves. We gotta head to Walmart again. I know that's a reoccurring theme I can see starting to happen in every single vlog. We gotta get an audio jack for my lapel microphones. If you don't know what a lapel microphone is, I guess I'll pop a picture up right here so you can see what they look like. But they're, they're like the hidden mics that go up under your shirt and they clip on. So you can get the audio if you're far away from the camera and it connects to your camera. Uh, we're planning to do a bunch more pranks, like in public, but we gotta get that first. The mics we have are just the regular audio jack thing, and I gotta get it to convert to go to my phone because I can't plug it into my camera. I spent $700 on a camera only to find out that it doesn't even have an audio jack because I got the wrong one. I got the, the DSLR, it's, it's the picture taken one, not the recording one. I mean, here we are, we're out here making it work. We're looking sexy AF, wearing a raccoon skin hat and uh, I'm wearing it in. I'm wearing it into Walmart. That's definitely happening. Dude, this is the first snow I've seen. Yeah, it's starting to snow out here. They say it's the most wonderful time of the year. Who said that? Wasn't it Michelangelo? No, he sculpted that. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison said that. It was Thomas Edison. I think he wrote a song about it too. Actually, did you know Thomas Edison, the last words he ever said? Tom, this is true, look it up if you guys don't believe me, cap check this. Thomas Edison died and six, I think it was six minutes later, he came back, they resuscitated him or somehow he came back to life. He said, it's beautiful on the other side and then died. That was Thomas Edison's last words. Thomas Edison, probably one of the best presidents we've ever had. I'll never forget his speech, the, the I had a dream speech, dude, so inspirational. Like they still talk about it to this day, I swear. It's been like 200 years since that speech. Ding! You heard that saying like, just as long as you're having fun, you're the real winner. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, dude. This past weekend was fantasy football semifinals. Kenyon Drake, the running back for the Arizona Cardinals, completely screwed my team. Six points? I know you're watching this, Kenyon Drake. What am I supposed to do with that? I literally lost both of my semifinals playoff matches because this guy cannot produce. Completely screwed my team, my second overall pick. My first overall pick was Ezekiel Elliott, so he's equally at fault. He didn't play either because he was, apparently he's hurt. So yeah, if I would've won those games, I would've made the finals. If I win the finals, I would've won like $500 a piece, but I guess we'll just not win any money and just continue to give it all away to my videographer who sits on the couch for five hours and doesn't, yeah, doesn't even do anything all day. We're sitting here scripting and doing other stuff all morning and, I just keep giving money away to him, keep giving all my money away to gift cards to kids on my TikTok, and yeah, eventually I'll get my car repossessed, so that's gonna be great, because everybody's taking my money. 100% Kenyon Drake's fault. Like, all the guy has to do is perform. Just show up, do your job. I think it was Justin Timberlake that said he was bringing sexy back, right? It's my saying now, because I'm bringing it back. You think everyone's looking and laughing at me because I'm not wearing a mask or because I'm wearing a raccoon skin hat? It's gotta be the mask. It's gotta be the mask thing. I would think it'd be the mask thing. I mean, these are, this is a fashion statement, bro. God, we might have to start selling these for merch, start branding them. These are literally all mine. It's the most wonderful time. They got the world's sexiest man on that screen. Not you, get out of there, right there. Why'd you park so far out? I enjoy the exercise. Should I just lay on the horn? <laughs> Come on. I hate people like that, dude. <laughs> Oh, she's probably so mad. She couldn't even move. There was a ton, there was a ton of traffic coming. She couldn't even go anyway. I drive a Camry. This is the official car of NASCAR. Eric Jones used to drive one of these. People don't believe me when I say that, but this is an actual NASCAR. I should be in NASCAR, come to think about it. I'm very good at taking left turns. I'm very, very fast. You should see me running stairs, bro. I'm fast as fuck. Speaking of being really fast, I'm gonna go and try out for the Lions football team next year. I'm gonna make it, I guarantee it. I'm gonna probably take Stafford's job because I'm quicker, I'm smarter, I'm better looking, I'm tougher. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. We are doing vlogs every single day, Monday through Friday. I mean, there's times where we might do like four vlogs a week instead of five, but for the most part, every business working day, we're doing vlog and we're just not gonna stop. We're gonna make it to the top. Tell your mom, tell your grandpa, text your cousin. I'm gonna be bigger than Jake Paul, bro. I'm gonna be bigger than Mo. I'm gonna be bigger than Logan Paul, boxing everybody. Did you see that? He's he, he knocks out Nate Robinson. First of all, he knocks out 
some guy who's a basketball player who you can clearly tell did not train for boxing whatsoever. Now all of a sudden he's the biggest prize fighter in the world. Dude, I'll box that kid. I don't even hate him. Like, guys, he's smart. I'll give that to Jake Paul. He's a smart guy because he knows exactly what he's doing to get attention. I'm from Michigan. He's from Ohio. It's a rivalry as old as time. I'd hit that kid with so many lefts he'd be begging for a right. She slammed on the brakes. I swear to you, if you do it again, if you brake check me, you're gonna get it. This is her own fault for not going before. She's mad at me like I'm the bad guy. God gave me a horn for a reason on this car. If God didn't want horns on cars, he wouldn't have put them there. She's juking me out, juking me right on my shoes. I thought she was going in there. This has been on for a mile. Guinness World Records, if you're watching this, this is officially the longest turn signal in the history of turn signals. The set of lady balls on this one is just immaculate. You dropped your pocket back there. <laughs> I'm not very interested in McDonald's. Oh man, I'm not going to that guy for a week. Wait, is this Wendy's? <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, you guys have a lot of dogs calling us, man. Listen, man, we got that good sale on that McRib today, man. What y'all doing with us today? Oh, we got the fasties. Everybody knows that. Nah, man, I don't even want to hear that, man. We got the frappes, man. What are you talking about? I don't even want to hear that. Oh my god, man, have you ever heard about our Shamrock Shakes? Man, you ain't ready for it. Nah, Shamrock Shakes. No, 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 no. I'm good. Let me, let me ask you, how long have y'all guys been in business? How much has that been on your You know what, it don't even matter how long y'all been in business. McDonald's is on top, man. We on top right now, man. We just bought back to make red too. What promotions do y'all have? Nothing. Why y'all make money? She took 49, though. The only good deal that y'all got seen to have right now is them nuggets. I'm not even trying to hear nothing, man. Come on, man. We got some holiday pies. We got them frappes. We yeah, got the mixed rib bag. That's in flour. I don't want to do it. <laughs> the mixed rib is phenomenal, man. I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, it's Wendy's. 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 When I think you guys can come out with a decent rib sandwich, then you come back to McDonald's and you get back at us. I don't want to hear nothing. Ain't nobody go to McDonald's for no ribs. And I'm not going to come to uh, 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 Wendy's to come grab a salad. So I hired out this web development team and I paid them $5,800. It's been, what, since the end of May, beginning of June since I've paid these guys and they just can't seem to finish my business website. We're just going to see if we get our money back because obviously these guys, they're just never going to finish the project. Hi, this is Zach with Vehicle One. Zach with Vehicle One. Can you spell your name? Z-A-C-H, and just the way they communicate with me, like I should have been a dead giveaway. I should have never gave these guys any money to do anything. Um, they're not even a scammer. They sound like they're scammers, but they're like a legit company. They're just so slow. Your name is Zach Hall. Yep, that's the name, don't blare it out. Trying to get this thing launched in August, and here we are, mid-December, um, with nothing to show for it. We have a wireframe of a website, but there's no functionality on it. So if you guys don't know by now, I'm creating the world's biggest car dealership. What's going on over there? Why, why don't we have anything done on my website? Just give me a moment. The people of your project, I think I've sent you an update okay, regarding the remaining point for the update for today. Have you received that? Yeah, but I didn't see anything from that update that actually reflects on the website. As, as the past three updates have also shown, there's nothing that's reflecting on the actual live site side of it that shows that anything's actually getting done since I've paid you guys. Let me go ahead, okay, and send you the, all the details in which we have to complete the work, okay? For well, I just went through the website, work. and it's the exact same as it's been since the start. Like, I don't know what you're saying in your back end, what your development team's telling you. Nothing's getting done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to notify you, sir, that the things which we are developing, okay, each functionality, each and everything, okay, that's related for the end goes for the back end, okay, it doesn't work on the front end. Once all the modules have been created on the, onto the back end, that's the time, okay, you even us and you will be in future be able to like manage the complete front end of your website. By you yeah, but how long do you guys module. need? So wh yeah, why can't I see anything being done since the beginning of June? Doesn't that sound like a scam to you? Would you be okay with paying somebody $5,800 and not getting anything out of it for six months? There's only, there's only like update six, seven, and some uh, things are left only to the website, okay, which is not gonna take like 10 to 15 days more. 
Okay, cool. You guys, uh, I remember you sent me the contract thing. You have a money back guarantee if you're not satisfied, right? Absolutely, sir. It depends on the, like, the project status, okay, and each and everything. It, it, it does relate on to that under the circumstances because we are proceeding each and every step to the next step with the client's approval and the client's satisfaction. Well, there's no okay, client approval. Right there's, now, there's zero communication with you guys. The only time you ever communicate with me is when you tell me that updates are done and then mm -hmm. they're actually not done. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna refund the $5,800 because this client is not satisfied because you guys have had since the beginning of June, end of May to do something and we have zero functionality on a wireframe website that I could have coded the HTML out within like 10 hours. So that's not worth it to me. Uh, we would just rather push for the refund. So let's go ahead and just get that rolling right now. I would like to notify you, sir, that I don't, I really don't know about the, like, the previous things, okay, because the, the like, the, the project manager has been shifted, okay, and the Multiple project times, yeah. to me, okay, and yeah, absolutely, and I have the complete things in my hand, okay, and I'm reviewing all the statuses, okay, each and everything, okay. Do you know how long I've yeah, been getting absolutely. told that same thing? You guys have been telling me that since July. But I promise you, I will be promising well, Your you promise that doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. It means absolutely yeah. nothing. The development, no, no, I will show you things, sir, before showing it to you, how can we proceed, okay? You know how many promises you guys have promised me that you have not? You guys promised to call me back and you can't even call me back. Mm -hmm. So you want me to trust you on the fact you're going to complete my website? This is not going to happen, so mm -hmm. let's get the refund no, going. It, or, it will, it will. It will, sir. Like, it won't, though, it because you guys have had since... You guys have had since you, June. We will show you, sir, let me speak first. I will show you all the things, okay, which I've showed you on the sprint plan. Why is, why is there nothing yeah. on the... Why is there no functionality already? Sir, it, it is a... I don't even want you guys to finish this website. Sir, when, like, 80% of the work has been completed... It hasn't, though. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's let's do a live time here. Let's pull up the sprint plan, me and you. You got a minute? You got a minute. Just go over a couple points. Mm -hmm. And we'll start with update one because right now you're saying you just completed update four, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start Let's start update one. Obviously there was the two things before update one that should have been updated, right? The database needed to be integrated to the website and then we needed a data, an RSS data feed option to feed dealerships cars to the website. Again, that never got created. That, that was what was supposed to come before the sprint plan. You guys never did that. Now let's jump to update one. We'll bypass that for a second. Update one. The very first bullet point is the car finding tool, right? To help customers find cars. Because we, I never even briefed you guys on what to do with that. So like, how can you build something that you that's don't what, even know what needs to be built? That, that's what I was told, sir. I was told before that we had tested all the backend modules. And I'm not getting a clear answer. Where's the car finder tool? Do you have an access for your backend? Okay, for the yeah. admin panel? I've been drinking green tea all day. I got my raccoon skin pelt hat on. I'm feeling pumped right now, Dennis. I need to see something. If you click on, if you see onto the dashboard, okay, onto the front end, and you see that where, where you want to be changed and manage the website, and you can come to our, this link, this tab, okay? The thing is, yep, Daniel, yeah, or Dennis, me, Dennis, me, sorry, I forget my project manager's names because we've got so many of them. I think you're getting bamboozled too. I think your development team might be lying to you. So you might even be a victim here as well. Because um, I don't think you know where the car finder tool is. Can you show me here on the back end where I can go to find that? Yeah, Again, this is just the very first bullet point. If you click on the vehicles, okay, there's the tools and all the tools are there to use, okay, to review. Okay, this is, a, this is we're, we're talking about the consumer car finding tool. So when a consumer comes to the website and they input their... Um, you know, we're going to sort it by interest and behavior patterns, and we're going to determine basically what vehicle fits them and suits them if they're not sure exactly what car they want. That's the functionality I'm talking about. Again, you guys haven't even been briefed on that, so how, how are you going to know what to build? Um, but apparently you guys built it already because you said you have. This is, again, the very first bullet point in update number one. Where's that functionality? Are on to the back end, okay? You can easily review and click on each point, okay? Okay, it's very good. Where's it at then? An option. Where's it at? Yeah. If you just tell me where it's at, I'll go to it real quick, and then we can go from there. Are you more of a Pepsi or a Coke guy? I'm more of an RC guy, I think. Yeah, if you click on the vehicles, okay, where's an option, vehicle listing, okay, you just click on it, okay, and the whole list, okay, you want to show it into the front end, okay, you can just update it right here. Okay, that okay, shows the vehicles. Yep, that shows the vehicles that are in the search engine. 
I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the car finding tool for the consumer where they can go and input their interests and behavior patterns and we can basically find the right fit for them um, based off the information that was in the database that goes over, again, remember how we have 13 million data points in the database that was supposed to be integrated to the website right away uh, before we kickstarted anything else. Where's that tool at? Let me go back to the all the sprint plan and see that where this option stand. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think so. Yeah, car finding. Yeah, absolutely. The car finding tool page is in the like the after this says update seven. Okay, that is why it's update not seven. That ain't an update seven. That's update number one. Yeah, that's update number one. The very first bullet point. Okay, and all those bullet points again over there. So that we can functional each and everything. Okay, and the functionality does exist on that that page. Okay, so you guys have built something, but it's just not appearing. It's just not there. You think you'd need to know what to build before you yeah, build it, right? Like, just, how are you going to build a house without I, boards or nails? No, it's not, it's not like that, sir. I would, that's why I was just recommending it to you that once it's been... I'm trying to process what you said. There was a lot of ums and okays yeah, in there. I, um, I, I promise okay. you, I promise you, okay, that the, like, it's not going to take, like, more than, like, 15 days to complete the full spin plan. See, no, it's not going to be the last time because this has been going since the end of yeah. May, beginning of June. The sprint plan here shows five working days for update number one, five working days for update number two, five working days for update number three, five days for update number four. Okay, that's 20 working days. Let's just give it the benefit of the doubt that that's a 30 day time frame, including weekends. Why wasn't this done in July? How are we in December with nothing to show yet? What would you do if you gave somebody $5,800 in June, mm -hmm. and they have not shown anything for it yet in December. Yeah, absolutely, but I will definitely go ahead and investigate that. Why does it make No, 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 no. you're not answering the question. You're beating yeah. around the bush, guys. Yeah. What would you do if you mm -hmm. gave somebody $5,800 in June, mm -hmm. and they did not complete mm -hmm. your project, and here we are in I December? I will definitely do the same. I will definitely do the same as you were saying, guys. You, you, would, you would be pretty pissed off, wouldn't you? You can say it. Yeah. You can say it. You'd be pissed off, right? Yeah, absolutely. Your your frustration and the, like this stuff, or reaction is like. Yeah, I like it. You that's said it there. Obvious. Ooh, that's good. I, I definitely. I Ooh, understand. baby. The project is assigned to me like only like ten days ago. Okay, and I. Okay, so that's another thing that we got added up with it. So now we're way over schedule, and now I'm getting passed around to multiple project managers, which means I have to rebrief everything that's going on with this website. It's a very dynamic, detailed website. Wouldn't you want to refund, Dennis? Or would, or would you give no, you guys not, another hundred tries? Yes, sir. The refund is not going to be happen, sir, but because I know my fault, okay, and I... I ain't Jesus, buddy. Person. I ain't gonna keep forgiving you. So what I'm going to do, okay, just provide me like 15 days, okay, and I will definitely give you the, all the complete plans. Okay, I'm not giving you 15 days. Trust me, trust me. They, like, give me like... You guys think you earned my trust? You think this is a trustworthy situation, sir? I'm not talking about my entire team, okay? I'm just asking you to trust on me. Well, aren't you representing your entire team? You guys have continued to let me down. You guys are like my dad. He left one day to go get milk and never came back. That was a big left. You guys are right up there. I mean, you're neck and neck. You might have passed them, honestly, at this point. So, if you can provide me the chance, okay? I just want to hear you say that you guys fucked up. None of my customers are disappointed to Daniel Hopkins. Okay, I'm one of your customers. Am I pretty disappointed, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the alternative to what you're what you're offering? Are you saying there's no ultimatum? There's only one path that's allowed to happen here. So you're saying I can't get a refund and you guys aren't doing work? It sounds an awful lot like a scam to me. If that's what's going on here, we can mark everything as fraudulent, and uh, I'll get my lawyers. We'll take this thing to the next level if you guys want to do it. I would just assume not give you any more opportunities because I gave you. Like, okay. what is it, six let's months this, now? Let's do this, man. Let's do this, way, sir. Okay. Provide me, like, it's like 15 to 20 days max. You're not so getting 15 to 20 days. To show you that how the each functionality is at this point going to be work. Okay, I will provide there is no the functionality. Company. That's the thing. Exactly. That's what we're calling yeah. about yeah, because everything. there's no functionality okay. on the website. Let's, this let's is your ultimatum me. right here because you're not going to okay. give me it. Either you guys transfer me over and send me my money back, mm -hmm. or I'm going to get my lawyer team mm -hmm. involved, and we're going to take this thing to the next level, and I will get my money back. And I promise it's not going to end up for you, because I'm very good with online tech stuff, and I can make it look like you guys don't even exist on the internet. When you send a bunch of negative traffic that doesn't engage, you'll never appear in search results again. Then nobody will ever find you, then nobody will ever get in the same situation that I'm in. I promise it won't end good for you. So that's your alternative. Send me my money back, and we'll take it to the next level. 
We will, we will, but we will, we will refund the money. Complete the full refund will be happen, okay? And we will give you our money. But before that, I would like you to give us the last attempt, like 15 to 20. To you know, I'm going to give you option number three, Dennis. Ready for option number three? You guys send me my money back, and you're so confident in your team in 10 to 15 days. If you guys finish it, mm -hmm. I'll send you the $5,800 back. That sounds pretty fair, right? You guys get paid, my website gets done. Everybody goes home happy. Because I think that's just the biggest thing with this whole thing, is that you guys just haven't earned the money yet. Okay, let me speak this and this uh, like situation to my like team. Discuss with my team. My way or the highway? How, how soon can I expect to call back? Uh, like for the next two to three hours max. All right, Dennis, your country's counting on you. It's Daniel, it's, it's Daniel. Your previous account manager was Dennis. Okay. Wait, hold on a second, what's your name? It's Daniel Hopkins. Dennis is your previous account manager. When the heck did you get become my account manager? Sir, it happened like in, like 10 days ago. Ten was, I, I also sent you the, yeah, I also what? Like, give you all my contact details. You guys have to communicate. You have to let me know these things. You're like project manager yeah, number six. Yeah, it's an email. Like, What's the email? You know, career. you guys are big on online marketing. I know you offer that service. You guys offer email marketing. What's the average email open rate? It's real low, right? Isn't it about 8%? Yeah. So you think you're going to reach me with an 8% chance that I'm going to open it? You guys have got to call me or something. you got to get in touch with me and let me know that you're switching project managers. I'm thinking you're Dennis the whole time I'm talking here because that was the last person I know working on my stuff. Now we have you, Daniel. This is like... Do you see what I'm saying here? Do you get the whole spiel? Yes, sir. Do you get it well, Dennis is only on board apparently for a couple days. So why am I wasting time briefing? How soon until the next one, Daniel? You guys are like stepdads. You show up in my life, you stay for a week, you beat me a little bit, you make me feel really bad, and then you disappear and a new one comes in. Like, what am I supposed to think here, da uh, Daniel, sorry, I almost said the wrong name. I still get them confused. I think I've had another Daniel. You might even be like the second or third Daniel on the project so far. 5,800 bucks. You know how many homeless, you know how many hungry kids we can feed for 5,800 bucks, Daniel? I'm out here trying to do God's work, and here you guys are stomping on my parade. Sir, let me speak with my management team. I will definitely come to the conclusion, which will, like, make you satisfied, okay, and happy as well. I swear to God, Daniel, if I don't jizz in my pants after an answer you give me later, I'm going to piss. Call me later. I will be get back. Yeah, sure, sir. I will get back to you the next three hours, okay? All right, bye. Unbelievable, dude. Absolutely terrible, worst communication I've ever dealt with in business is this development team. And they're a legit place, like I was saying. Like I've been looking up their reviews. They've built a lot of places. They've built some of my competitors' website. The problem that's going on here is that I constantly keep getting new project managers. You're supposed to only have one that manages the whole project, and then you brief them on what to do, and then they do this stuff for you, or like they convey everything to their development team. They don't even white label and outsource any of the work either. It's all in-house. It's a company with like 1,200 people in it, and they're reputable. I've looked them up. I screened them before I hired these guys on because I've, I've literally paid thousands of dollars to other teams in the past that weren't legit. And here we are going through this situation and just, oh my God, dude, it's a lot of money on the table. It's not only a lot of money, it's a lot of time. I mean, I've paid these guys $5,800, but this project alone over the past, oh God, I don't know the exact time, 10 months, year, it's, I, I'm like 12 grand in on this and I can't get anything to show for it. I'm doing everything right. It's not my fault. It's variables I can't control. So there's a lot of people out there that are wondering what's going on with my business, what's going on with the website, why is, not, why is nothing launched yet, why can't people buy cars from me online yet. This is the reason. Because of the, like, that guy I just call, I called, the company I just called, they can't get their stuff together and it's, it's so frustrating. And this was supposed to be done in July. And here we are in December. And he wants another 15 days. He's not getting 15 days. He's going to call me back. Well, he actually... He can have the 15 days if he refunds the money and then finishes the project. And then I'll do the honest thing and I'll give him the money back. But it's going to have to be exactly what I want. And they're going to finally have to get something done. All right, let's move on. We got some good videos planned here in the upcoming weeks. We're growing so fast. It's almost surreal to think that we have this many people watching us right now. But anyways, I guess that's a wrap. You should come up with like a catchphrase for the end of your videos or something. If I have one person subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would be you, Brad Garrett from Everybody Loves Raymond. Your show was awesome. Who's bigger than that guy? That guy is literally at the tip top of the iceberg. But anyways, we're checking off, guys. We're calling this a wrap. Okay, bye.